My name is Yuichi Ozawa. I'm from uh, Hamas Medical Center uh, in Japan, and uh, I'm now presenting in this ASCO uh, annual meeting and, uh, about the comprehensive uh, analysis uh, for the uh, locally advanced nose lung cancer uh, who received concurrent chemotherapy uh, utilizing the individual data from the Japan Lung Cancer Society uh, integrated clinical trial databases. Actually, the Japan Lung Cancer Society made uh, databases using the 1,200 data, and uh, I analyzed uh, using that. The result is uh, kind of interesting because uh, we found that the five factors uh, are related with the uh, PFS, population free survival. Um, the factors, uh, the most important one is uh, the site of the lung cancer. I mean that the, the lung cancer originates as the uh, upper lobes, uh, shows a uh, shorter progression survival, uh, uh, longer uh, progression, progression with survivors than the uh, lung cancer that originate from the uh, lower lobes. And uh, more than that, we also found that the uh, patients who show the uh, uh, pneumonitis, uh, that's uh, more than uh, grade two, shows uh, shorter survivors, and uh, on the contrary, the esophagitis, esophagitis, more than grade one, uh, shows uh, longer version of survivors. That's very depending on the uh, adverse events, kind of adverse events. And uh, we also um, want to show that the, the, the more detailed profiles of the adverse events who received concurrent chemotherapy uh, in the 1,200 patients. Actually, uh, until now, we, uh, we don't know about the predictive factors of the local advanced uh, non small lung cancer patients who received concurrent chemotherapy. And uh, I think this is the uh, first one uh, uh, who analyzed that using the, such uh, many uh, patients and uh, the, even the adverse event profiles are, I think, uh, very uh, informative for the, uh, all clinicians. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.